Hi, I'm Mason Dukacek, and welcome to our show, Build a Tribe Live, where I have the privilege of interviewing established experts, um, recognized authorities, and up-and-comers willing to share their unique and interesting perspectives on business. Um, my goal is to help share ideas that can help you and other viewers attract, capture, and convert more of your ideal prospects into customers online. And today's guest is Tom Ruich, who is a Yale graduate and president of the St. Louis-based email marketing company, MarketVolt. I invited Tom, Tom to come in today to share his ideas about how to basically re-engage inactive past clients, to reach out to potential clients, and turn those potential clients into customers quickly, easily, and inexpensively utilizing email marketing. So Tom, basically um, what I'd like to do is, I've got a very simple format, it's about 10 questions, and maybe a few follow-ups related. But if you wouldn't mind, you know, tell us a little bit about your background and how you got into this line of work and what it is that, that drives you to be passionate about the whole niche of email marketing. Sure. Thanks. Uh, thanks for having me. My pleasure. Uh, my background was as a journalist. I worked for about 10 years in the newspaper industry. And in the late 90s, as the internet was beginning to take hold, I got into the online newspaper business. And uh, that business, of course, uses the passive advertising model. Uh, capture an audience, uh, plop ads on the pages of the newspaper, hope that enough people respond to the ads that the advertisers find return on that investment. Uh, but what began to fascinate me as the internet took hold is the opportunity for interactive, interactive advertising, where buyers and sellers could connect in a much more, uh, much more of a dialogue, and uh, media like email was at the forefront of that movement. So around uh, the year 2000, I hatched the idea for Marketable. Uh, we didn't invent email marketing, of course, um, but uh, we were pretty early into the game and uh, we jumped in and what, what really began to interest us most was this idea that it wasn't just about putting out a message and hoping it sticks, it was about having conversations with your prospective uh, customers, your clients, learning from them based on how they interacted with your email, opening, clicking, and so forth, using that knowledge to instruct your product development, but also to understand who your true prospects are, what your different people's interests are. And we've been doing it now for 12, 13 years and built a successful business and helped a lot of businesses grow as a result. Well, I appreciate you setting aside a tiny visit with me. I'm sure our, our viewers will be um, uh, able to benefit from some of your experience. Like I said, I've got about 10 basic questions. Mm -hmm. um, I might as well get started. Um, Let's do it. How would you describe briefly the difference between permission email marketing and spam? Sure. Um, the, the wording, permission, is, is the key thing. That the people on your list have given you permission to contact them, and you want to really traffic in, in that sort of email marketing. The people who have said, I know who you are, I've signed up for that free ebook or that mailing list or whatever it is, and I want to hear from you. Spam is a term that really just means unsolicited commercial email. The idea of going and buying a list. It's almost like a cold call online for folks that aren't that familiar with terminology. It is. And, and the fact that it's so cheap to buy a list and the fact that it's so cheap to deliver to a large list, it, it becomes an easy default setting for people. But the reality is that if you're not selling you know, little blue pills or fake Rolex watches or that sort of thing, your yield on that, on that effort is going to be really, really small. Probably um, cause more damage than good with your cause reputation. Cause damage to your brand and your reputation. That. And in the end, good marketing and good business building is about relationship building. So rather than hammer people who don't want to hear from you, focus your energy on building relationships with those who do the permission-based marketing as opposed to, to spam. Okay. 